Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how you can develop a question answering based system with the help of OpenAI GPT-3 and Gradio. Okay, so in the first step what we are going to do is we are going to install OpenAI and Gradio both of them. So to do that what you need to do is you need to write pip install OpenAI. I have already done that uh, when you do this just run it and then pip install gradio as you can see it is already present in my system okay so the second thing is pip install gradio after that the next step is to import the dependencies so there are mainly three dependencies that we are going to import now the first dependency is of course we are going to import open ai okay so let's run this and the second one is we are going to import operating system because we are going to work with that so we are going to write import os okay and at the end what we are going to do is we are going to import gradio as gr okay so let's run it after that the next step is to take out the open ai api key okay so if you are familiar with this you just have to go to beta.openai and you have to create your own record on your own account and after that you can take out your own open ai api key and then you have to just paste it right here all of this code is available on github and you can use it to create your own website that quest answers the questions that you want okay so let's go get on with it now we are going to enter the open api key after this the next step is to uh, you know make a function for gradio that uses open ai so let's start that how open ai works is the there is a query and then there is a response related to that query for example if there is a question that we are going to ask like who is current president of USA then it will answer this specific question so to attach it with gradio if you are familiar with gradio we have to make a function called greet sorry greet okay so uh, in this function what we are going to do is we are going to put the question the question there uh, is called the query if in the open ai form okay so we are going to enter the query and what we are going to have in return is the answer okay so this is the first part we are entering the query and we are getting the answer the there will be a question and then there will be an answer related to that okay so how does open ai compute this answer is the next step so in here what we are going to put is we are going to use all the factors that are used in the gpt3 to take a better look what we have to do is we will open open ai playground just paste or beta.openai.com slash playground here okay so you need to look on the right okay so on the right these are the things that are present there is a model which is also called an engine so there are multiple engines available and there are also some fine-tuned engines that i have fine-tuned for myself let's leave that so there is a temperature other than that there is a maximum length uh, frequency penalty how much are you going to give penalty on wrong answers and what is the presence penalty and how many of the answers are you going to pick the right one and this tells us out of five answers we are going to pick one out of four question uh, answers we are going to pick one so all of these are the parameters of uh, gpt3 that are used to get the results according to our usage so we are going to put all of these parameters and then we are going to ask it a question and then 
we will have an answer let's suppose if we want to ask it a question here we will say who is elon musk and we will put this question mark at the end so these are all the parameters and then we click submit and there will be an answer here so we want to do the same thing in python so to do that we will put in a query and then there will be an answer related to that okay so let's go back to our jupyter and let's develop a function that gives us the same answer as playground okay so to do that the function that we are going to use is called openai completion openai dot sorry dot completion dot create so this is the name of the function that we are using and the things that we are going to use in this function are these the temperature maximum tokens after that top p and after that best of so and then we can also use frequency penalty and we can use presence penalty so we will give values to all of these and get the best results that we want okay so do do that what we need to do is we need to enter these things here for example the engine is text da vinci 002 which is the listed one and then we are going to go to the next food line and we are going to say that the prompt which is the input of this engine it will be equal to the query that we are taking in this function so this query will be entered here and it will be taken into the prompt here okay so uh, after that we can also test uh, uh, we can also set the temperature according to our need so temperature is equal to 0.1 when we increase the temperature the gpt3 takes more risks okay so if the temperature is 0 it will not take take any risk and if the temperature is 1 it will take maximum risks okay the next next thing is maximum underscore tokens it tells us how much length is allowed in the answer so i am going to write 256 for now if we are making a blog or we are doing something like a storytelling or something like that then we will not be using 256 we'll be using something like a thousand or even more than that in some cases okay so what did happen here let me check okay so the next thing is we can also make it work without putting the, all of these parameters but i just wanted to make the same function as playground so the next one is best of and we are going to let's write two here so it will compute two answers and then give us the best of them let's take the frequency penalty and presence penalty now frequency penalty is equal to let's go something like 0 0.4 and presence underscore penalty is equal to 0 0.3 okay so these are all the variables that are used in this open a completion function and the next thing that we will do is we will check out what is the response or we can also say that we will check out what the answer is so for now we will write 
answer is equal to response but this is not how we want to write it we will change it later okay so let's before entering it into a function let's take another cell and copy all of this okay and copy all of this paste here so we will know that our this is working fine so to check it before putting it into function and using it with gradio we would like to check it ourselves ok so these are all the values that are used to create the response and the query here is who is Elon ok so there will be a response to that and to show the response we will print out response here ok so there is an error let me see what that is ok so this C is in capital letters let's see if this gives it a response now ok so there is another error unrecognized request so it is not recognizing temperature this may be the spelling of the temperature are wrong ok so yes there is an A here let's change it by E and let's run it again hopefully it will work now ok so there is the response as we can see the query was who is Elon and the answer is somewhere here Elon Musk is the founder CEO and CTO of SpaceX co-founder of Tesla Motors so this is the answer that we want but it is not giving us the answer it is giving us a complete list in which sorry a complete dictionary in which there is a list of choices inside choices there are a few things and then there is this answer in the part text ok to see it if you see it more carefully you, what you can see is in the response variable we have an array whose index is choices and inside that index there is one thing is this one and the second thing is this this is the third thing this is the fourth thing and this is the fifth and this is the sixth thing and this is the uh, bracket for outside ok so what we need to do here is uh, we need to take the choices out to do that what we will do is let's make another cell what we will do is we will write print response and then inside response we are going to write something like choices ok so let's see so there we go now we have this so in choices in the first one there uh, in the zeroth index all of this is pre present so we are going to write 0 here and then we have these three things in the zeroth dictionary first is finish reason second is index third is log problems and the last one is text so to get this what we need to do is we need to write text here ok so then let's do that let's write text here so there we go this is the answer 
Elon Musk is the founder, CEO and of SpaceX. All of this is the answer. So the thing that we need to do uh, use here is not response. It is this one response choices and then zero here and then text. <coughs> okay. So reason the reason that I did that is this is the thing that we want to put into the answer now. All of this. like this so this will be our answer and it will be returned okay so i th hope that all of this is clear now how we have made this function okay so by using this function after this we are going to compute the answer okay so let's run this hopefully there are no errors this time okay so it is running perfectly after this the next thing that we can do is we can just make an interface of gradio it it is a one liner so fn function is equal to greet the function that we have developed before it will take query as an input and it will give answer as an output okay and in inputs what we have is our input is text and our outputs is text as well and at the end we are going to launch this okay so this is gradio is just a simple interface that can be used to develop simple in, uh, applications of data science if you want to um, learn about it further you can just go to gradio's website other than that this is just the one liner that you are, will be using let's run this and let's see if the results are what we want them to be okay so the question is who is elon and let's see what the answer is and there we go elon musk is the founder and uh, ceo and cto of spacex let's complete the question before the question was incomplete and there we go as you can see the musk that was here is now deleted also because we did not write musk here or uh, we did not write the question mark okay so this is how you can use gradio and gpt3 to develop a simple question answering app you can also deploy it on your website other than that it is also available for 72 hours other than this the uh, on your local url of course other than that you, you can also fine tune gpt3 with the help of your own data set or you can also use some intelligent prompting to change the uh, results of the question answering system for that what we need to do is uh, we need to put some prompts here right here so let's suppose if we are developing a chatbot and we want it to answer it the way uh, we want so we do not want it to answer to, with too much freedom we want to you know make it a little bit conservative so to do that we can use intelligent prompting of course the best way is to fine-tune it but I am not fine-tuning it right now we can do it in a later exercise okay so let's suppose we are connecting two queries here and let me just enter the query q1 and then we can talk about it okay so we are going to use this small data set for intelligent prompting let's suppose i paste all of that into here and after this 
I, I have put it into variable a after this I will just take it I will delete this cell and I am going to write a here and I am going to write query here so both of them will be attached uh, the query that is coming as an input and before that all of these will be taken as question so these will be the sample questions and after that at the end our question will be attached and it will be tr trying to to be a closed question answering system so let's check it out okay so I have run this now let's check the interface again okay so in the interface let's just copy a question from here let's let's take this question as an example all of this is selected let me just point something here anything will work okay so the question is can you describe resource AI and this is the answer that we should get I am your AI assistant who is with you on your accommodation journey for you okay so As you can see we are getting the same answer that uh, we have given it and if we deviate for a little bit from these questions it will still try to stick relation in relation to these answers so to you know make it even a better website what we'll do next is we can develop a fine-tuning complete data set and then we can train our GPT-3 on that and then we can test it and then we can train it again so that way we can develop a perfect chatbot or a question answering website that we want so this is how you develop a question answering system with intelligent prompting with the help of open AI and Gradio and you can just deploy it wherever you want and you can use it uh, later and or you can send it to someone uh, your client or someone else so this is it for today i hope that you like the video and you like the project let's meet next time thank you very much